givers wants the Israeli government charged for genocide and gross human rights violations in Gaza. It's joining hundreds of other organizations and lawyers to lay a complaint at the International Criminal Court, the ICC. Uh, let's bring in uh, the head of uh, Gift of the Givers. It's uh, Dr. Uh, Imtia Suleiman joining us uh, this morning. Uh, Dr. Suleiman, good to have you on ENCA. Appreciate the time. Why this action and why now? Good morning. Good morning, Garrett. Well, it's, it has been coming for some time now. On the 16th of November, my office, the head of my office, Ahmed Basi, a pharmacist, was deliberately targeted by Israeli forces when he was coming from prayer. With him was his brother, Mohammed Abbasi, who was a doctor. Whilst that was happening, and when I didn't realize earlier, but when I checked with my team members, because you know people don't have enough communication, networks are down, one of my team members lost 50 people of a family in one strike. They all live in one complex. They have a whole five or six story, five or six story buildings, and separate apartments in each on each floor. And there were 50 family members. They all were killed with one strike. They didn't know where they were because they were caught up under the rubble, and with a lot, lack of communication, they didn't realize until a few days ago that other members were lost in other parts of Gaza. So with that one person losing more than 50 members, another team member of mine losing more than 20, and other team members collectively they've lost more than 100 totally innocent civilians, men, women, children, babies, the elderly. And while this was happening, I knew there was a French lawyer called Gilles Davis, a senior French counsel, was, was getting together a group of lawyers, 300 of them all over the world, you know, to, to take Israel to the ICC. 